The design in Daba is South Africa's answer to a world-class design, fashion and architecture collective that showcases the very best of South Africa's creativity. Held annually in Cape Town, the four-day design in Daba includes a curated expo that features everything from film, jewellery and product design. Currently in its 11th year, the design in Daba has become a magnet for attracting the world's leading authorities in contemporary design. This year, there was a distinct technology focus as speakers discussed the advancements of technology and how this complemented design, art and architecture. Keynote speaker and billionaire internet entrepreneur Mark Shuttleworth shared his passion and purpose behind his next project, Ubuntu, open source software, a technology platform that gives everyone complete access to the best software technology in the world for free. Ubuntu, what Wikipedia is for information, Ubuntu is for software. This has been a project that's seven years in the making. Um, uh, before that, I, I was a user of open source software. It was, the, it was the raw materials with which I was able to create a, a global technology presence from here in Cape Town. And I've seen it be, be the raw materials for many other innovative companies, you know, Google, Facebook, uh, Yahoo, all built Twitter, all built their, their presence around open source technology. Um, but that, the, the benefits of open source have really been limited to the, the techno savvy. And for me, the, the real challenge was, was, was to, to try and bring that creativity and that capability to a global audience. Ubuntu works on the principle of encouraging the brightest and best software developers in the world to create exceptional software for free. It's technology philanthropy at its best with a smart business model. So today, seven years later, Ubuntu is used in hundreds of thousands of schools um, around the world. Many different countries have moved all of their education infrastructure to Ubuntu. Uh, it's heavily used in, uh, in industry. Uh, it's entirely free of charge. Um, we, you know, at the core, we, we make money not by licensing the software, but by offering services that we're in a good position to do. Um, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it's a, for me it's a fascinating mix of uh, uh, investment, commercial, economics, uh, philanthropy and technology, all of which are things that I'm interested in. What Ubuntu aims to do is aggregate the best software technology in the world and provide a seamless and smooth interface that allows users to gain access to new and updated software every six months. It's an ambitious aim that has come with its challenges. There are literally thousands of projects that produce these nuggets of goodness from browsers to databases to kernels and programming languages. Those are all these pieces of open source. And our job is to integrate those into one platform that you can get every six months. Um, so there's a great deal of complexity in that. And figuring out how to, how to manage that complexity through relationships you know, into that community has, has been the key challenge. As the face and functionality of technology changes at a rapid rate, those that will survive and thrive in the near future need to understand the power of convergence. I think one of the key uh, signals of the future is what we call convergence devices. Motorola has just launched one. It's called the, the Atrix 4G. And essentially it's a phone that has inside it uh, the capability be, to be both a phone and a desktop computer. Uh, so while you're carrying it around, it's a phone, and then when you dock it, you dock it to sort of the chassis of a computer, and suddenly the same phone processor is driving the whole desktop. Uh, and in future, we think that that will expand to include all sorts of form factors. So you'll get in the car, you'll dock the phone, and now your car computing interface is being driven by the phone. The advantage of that is it knows everything about you. It knows where you are, it, it's your internet connection, it has your address book, it's uh, profoundly personal. Uh, and it, it, it allows you to, to, to keep that um, presence and continuity through all of your computing. So that's a really interesting idea and one that um, I think we will be, we'll, we'll explore you know, and see where it leads us.